South Korea boasts one of the world's leading economies. But the price of this achievement is an intense and competitive societal atmosphere. Many Koreans grapple with the pressures, feeling stressed and isolated. Traditional group activities such as dining have transitioned from communal gatherings to solitary experiences. What was once a shared meal has increasingly become a solo affair. One Saturday evening around 8 p.m. in Seoul, we strolled around searching for a barbecue restaurant. Beyond merely satisfying our hunger, we embraced the Korean sentiment that sharing grilled food in good company enhances its flavor. Slices of pork and beef sizzled on a hot iron pan, picked up with stainless steel chopsticks. Smoke wafted through the air, accompanied by the sound of meat juices dripping onto burning coals, releasing a tantalizing aroma. We savored each bite, dipping the meat in a thick salty sauce and complementing it with spicy and tangy kimchi, as well as an array of side vegetables. We cherish both the meal and the conversation. After a full day's work, evenings are reserved for relaxation and bonding. South Koreans value dinner as more than just a satisfying meal. It's an opportunity to gather and strengthen bonds. This tradition is, however, fading here, not unlike in other big city societies. The number of South Koreans living alone is on the rise. Solitude comes with having to dine solo. The fast-paced urban lifestyle makes it challenging for young people to meet friends or to socialize on a daily basis. Oh, while eating dinner on one's own at home might seem a lonely exercise, it might be better than going out to eat alone. The reason is that most restaurant menu items here are intended for groups or larger gatherings. Many restaurants prefer not to accommodate solo diners during business hours due to the space, time and service they require. It's more economically viable for them to serve customers in groups. Another factor is the Korean culture. Korean society is collective and activities like group dining are seen as social connections. Eating alone in restaurants, especially dinner, might attract odd glances and judgment, and the possibility of being misinterpreted as someone who doesn't have a family, is unmarried or lacks companionship. For this young lady, dinners often consist of ready-to-eat meals or pre-packaged single-serving sets. These are convenient solutions, eliminating the need for washing or cutting as everything is prepared. Just tear open a packet, put it in a pan, pot or microwave, and the meal is soon ready to be enjoyed alone. South Korea has transitioned from one of the world's poorest nations to a developed, high-income country in just a few decades. The people here are renowned for their dedication to rigorous study and hard work. This society places great value on collaboration and group activities. Hosting dinner parties or gathering for meals is one of the most common and effortless activities. Eating alone in a restaurant used to be considered unusual. But societal shifts have led to changes in people's lifestyles. These changes have also influenced their beliefs and behaviors. The trend of honbap, or eating out alone, is gaining in popularity, especially among teenagers and young adults. Supermarkets are now offering ready-to-cook meals tailored for one person. Certain restaurants have started providing services for solo diners. An increasing number of single dining establishments are displaying honbap signs, 
even at grill restaurants known for their dishes meant to be shared by two or more people. Eating alone is no longer uncommon in South Korea. Many individuals regularly have solitary breakfasts and busy lunches. When it comes to dinner, especially a grilled menu, the situation changes though. While some might not mind eating alone, and do so without concern for others' perceptions, few grill restaurants are initially open to serving individual customers. Nevertheless, in response to the growing trend of living alone, there are now restaurants catering to solo diners. One such is this barbecue restaurant. Albeit small, it can accommodate over 10 tables. Each table is designed for eating alone. Each table is partitioned, featuring a small gas stove and a bench on one side, accompanied by a personal TV screen with headphones. There's also a charging port for phones and a phone holder for convenience while eating and watching TV. 처음에 제가 도시락 장사를 했었는데 그것도 이제 혼자 먹는 사람들이 많거든요. 그리고 그 사람들이 와서 혼자 사간 도시락은 되게 간단히 먹는 거예요. 급하게. 근데 그렇게 안 하고 혼자서도 좀 앉아서 천천히 고기 구워 먹고 술도 한잔 하고 이런 게 없을까 생각하다가 시작하게 됐습니다. This establishment welcomes those who crave grilled food but lack dining companions. In this setting, individual customers are provided with an appropriate portion of food. The atmosphere is secluded, with a high barrier shielding it from external distractions. The television and smartphone are present as a friend to combat solitude, enabling patrons to relish their meal without feeling concerned about others' judgment. 아, 이렇게 혼자서 먹다 보면은 다른 사람들이랑 눈이 마주칠 수 있잖아요. 그때 약간 좀 민망하니까 서로. 오케이. 네. Thin slices of pork belly accompanied by a dipping sauce and Korean style side dishes are served in just the right amount for one person. It's our first experience dining alone at a barbecue restaurant and it turned out to be the most serene barbecue meal we've ever had. There were other tables occupied by customers a few places away. Inside the restaurant, the only sounds were the sizzling of the grill and the gentle clinking of utensils. The television remained on, preventing the environment from feeling too stagnant. Each diner inhabits their own world, tending to their own stove, grilling and enjoying their meal. While it might not be the most delicious restaurant food, the scenery and relaxed atmosphere offer a unique charm that patrons appreciate in a solitary dining setting. Amidst the smell of sizzling meat, some people sit and watch TV, while others are engrossed in their phones. These people might be distanced from their families or lack a partner and close friends, but this doesn't deter them from enjoying their meal. While many may consider a grilled meal a group experience, it's not an unbreakable rule. Some people simply wish to dine alone, and if they lack a dining partner or prefer solitude, they have the right to enjoy their meal without being judged. Being alone or engaging in solitary activities has the advantages of freedom and flexibility. The downside, though, is loneliness, which can significantly impact both physical and mental well-being. South Korea has one of the world's highest suicide rates, a phenomenon which affects all classes, genders and ages. The Han River flowing from North Korea splits Seoul in two. Along its banks lie numerous parks and sports fields. Residents of Seoul often enjoy sitting by the river, cycling, having picnics and participating in various other activities. Tragically, the Han River has also become a site where many people choose to end their lives. Authorities have had to implement various measures to prevent them, such as placing encouraging messages, designing bridges to be difficult to climb 
and stationing lifeguards to monitor and assist those attempting to end their lives. In an oppressive social and economic environment, individual factors contribute to personal problems, especially those related to loneliness. South Korean society often grapples with a pronounced feeling of isolation. 학생들이 뭔가 친구들이랑 노는 시간이 별로 없고 대학교에 가기 위해서 공부를 엄청 많이 해야 되고 대학교에 와서도 이제 직장을 구해야 되니까 놀 시간이 없고 어 거의 취미 생활도 거의 없고 계속 공부를 해야 되거든요. 그래서 혼자 사는 사람들은 그 와중에 더 외롭고 가족들이랑 같이 살아도 어, 가족들이랑도 시간을 많이 보낼 그런 여유가 없는 것 같아요. 한국 사람들이 특히 젊을 때 그래서 그 맞는 것 같아요. If you want to see more great content from all over the world, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon. Thank you. Living alone leads to engaging in numerous activities that are inherently solitary, including eating. Although eating alone is not lonely, sorrowful or depressing per se, Jisoo honestly admits that it's a terrible feeling which is hard to describe. When her discomfort with solitary meals grew, she sought out like-minded individuals and formed a group. Jisoo's solo group has almost 10 members who gather two to three times a month. Today, Jisoo arranged to meet her friends in a rented room while ordering their favorite dishes. Some brought their own food to share. The large box of hot chicken stew is divided onto individual plates. This dish is pretty impossible when dining alone due to its size, making this a perfect opportunity to enjoy eating and saving money without wasting food. Moreover, it serves as a small celebration to welcome new group members to share a meal. After exchanging greetings and acquainting themselves with newcomers, everyone took their seats around the table. They savored their meals while chatting together. No forced conversation was necessary. It's simply a planned gathering where many people come to dine. They share the view that this way is better than dining alone. <laughs> 요즘에 혼자 먹는 그 빈도가 횟수가 더 많은 것 같아요. 장난점이 있는 것 같아요. 혼자 먹을 때는 혼자만의 시간을 가져도 되게 편한데 대신 좀 외롭기도 하고 같이 먹을 때는 외롭지는 않은데 어 왠지 나라는 그런 존재감이 없어 옅어지는 것 같아서 둘다 장난점이 있는 것 같아요. The trend of forming communities for solo diners gained popularity in 2012 when a social networking service in South Korea launched a website with the primary aim of connecting people to dine together. Following its success, particularly among young people, other websites emerged with the same goal. There are websites that enable users to discover dining companions or gather in small groups through social media, such as Jisoo's group. Apart from simply finding dining companions, another benefit of group dining is the opportunity to enjoy a greater variety of dishes, especially when it comes to larger portions, which would be too much for an individual. Sharing also helps to ensure that no food goes to waste. Ah, uh, but I don't want to eat alone. I feel very lonely. I feel like I can do something else. I feel like I can do something else. I feel like I can do something else. 잘 챙겨 먹으려고 하거든요. 혼자라도 막 반찬 서너 가지 이렇게 해놓고 먹고 국을 끓인다든지 요리를 굉장히 많이 하는 편이에요. 그래서 사실 혼자 먹는 게 싫은 날도 있어서 친구 부르거나 친구 집 가거나 이렇게 많이 하고 있어요. 어 웬만하면은 다 같이 즐겁게 먹고 싶은데 이제 혼자 먹을 수밖에 없는 시간들이 또 있으니까 어쩔 수 없이 이제 뭐 그냥 간단히 먹을 때도 있고 거하게 먹을 때도 있고. 네. Besides establishing her small dining group, she also operates a YouTube channel where she discusses the experiences of dining alone. Her channel also includes food recommendations and suggestions for where to purchase meals tailored for solo dining, including restaurants catering to individual diners. Cooking box, 아까 만들었던 그것도 
어, 한 3, 4년 전에는 종류가 한두 개밖에 없었다고 하면 이제 엄청 다양해졌거든요. 메뉴도 다양해지고 만드는 회사도 많이 생겨가지고 Many young South Koreans find themselves under the pressure of expectations and the stress arising from intense competition in both studies and at work. Dealing with loneliness is an inevitable challenge. Eating together, at the very least, offers some relief. While there are many activities that facilitate socializing, eating seems to possess a unique charm. This is perhaps because it not only satiates one's hunger, but also nourishes the heart. 보통 우리 한국 사람들 정서가 뭔가 밥을 먹거나 뭔가 할때 같이 하는 그런 인식이 되게 깔려 있어요. 과거에 어, 농촌 사회부터 시작해서 뭔가 함께 이렇게 도와주고 상부상조하는. 근데 현대 사회에 들어서면서는 자기에 대한 그런 소중함과 자기가 중요하다는 그런 인식이 되게 깔려 있어서 어, 과거에는 혼자서 뭔가 하면은 저 사람은 뭔가 좀 우리 공동체에 어울리지 않는다라는 얘기를 할수 있는데 지금은 그러지 않아도 자기만의 컨텐츠를 가지고 이게 1인 활동하는 분들 많기도 하고 어, 요즘은 자기에 대한 아무튼 그 중요성이나 그런 것들이 많이 깔려 있기 때문에 If there isn't a group dining appointment, she prepares simple meals alone in a room. A plate of fried noodles like this one is suitable for one person and can be enjoyed in the utmost privacy. This experience is different from dining out, especially when it comes to meals intended for two or more people, such as hot pots or grilled dishes. Compared to many of her other friends, this small room could be considered spacious. It has an area for a mattress, a space for dining, a kitchen counter, and a simple stove. On the other hand, the living space of people living alone in the big city consists of only a bed and a small quantity of personal belongings. Often, the largest kitchen convenience they have is a microwave. Psychological studies have found that eating together has positive effects in various ways. It's not just about consuming food to sustain life, enjoying flavors, or nourishing the body. Eating together is a time when people get closer, relax, chat, laugh, exchange thoughts and experiences, show affection, and care for one another. Perhaps it's not just the food for which we truly hunger, but a human connection. Thank you.